1978, the Lexicon 224 Reverb was released. And back then it was world changing and it is still today. And it's a sound that people just love. And last year Chase Bliss released their CXM 1978 Reverb together with Maris, which was based on the Lexicon Reverb. And it was digital back then and it's still digital now. Um, but somehow people got scared of digital stuff. And I have been among those people for a very long time. I only like the analog amps and analog pedals and for the purest tone. But in recent years I've kind of let go of the purism a bit. Um, and I found that there are a lot of killer digital pedals and amps and whatever out there. But not all digital stuff is good, but on the other hand, not all analog stuff is good. So I'm just treating it as, you know, another tool for a purpose. For instance, I use an HX Stomp from Line 6. Um, on a lot of backing tracks, I use it to travel and I really love the tones I'm getting from it. The Waza Air, the Boss Waza Air headphones are an amazing tool to practice with. Um, and it's got such an enjoyable tone and it's completely digital. On the multi effects front, we've seen stuff from Eventide, the H9 or H99, uh, the successor of the H9, the Line 6 HX Stomp, obviously. Um, yeah, there's just a ton of stuff out there, but I think a huge step has been taken recently by Chaos Audio with the Stratus, which I have right there. The Stratus combines the tones, the processing power of the bigger units, but in a very small form factor. And you control it entirely with your smartphone. So I'm gonna open the app right now. Um, so I can show you guys some stuff. Okay, so this is the app, this is the store, and here you can scroll to categories. This is modulation. This is distortion. Reverb. Well, you get the idea. Um, you can download these uh, effects, these algorithms, to your Stratus from your phone. And you'll be able to access them and build an entire pedal board as a preset or just one pedal as a preset, whatever you want. Now the knob here on Stratus, which is called the multi knob, um, does multiple things. Multi knob. <laughs> and it works as a master volume, you can switch presets, look up the manual to see what else it does, switch turns it on and off. You have a USB-C port here on the top, 9 volt power, in and out, simple as that. Everything else is done inside of the app. Now when you've downloaded a couple of effects, um, I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of them because it's gonna be too much to show them all. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys a couple I really, really like. Um, you can go to this tab here and that'll show your current pedal board or current signal chain. Now what you heard in the intro was Everything coming from Stratus. I didn't have a pedal board attached. I had an overdrive, which is called the Warp Speed. It's a transparent light drive. Career light speed, maybe. And the Artemis Rotary Harmonic Tremolo. Mariner Space H Delay. And the Cosmos Ethereal Expanse Echo. Now, when I go here, then I have other presets. Trem Reverb Delay and just reverb and you can switch between those with your phone. Now going back to the preset I used for the intro. When you swipe through the pedals you can turn them on and off like this just tapping the foot switch and um, when you tap a pedal you can change the controls with your finger and it works lightning fast it's like instant control and that is something i was a bit worried about that there would be some lag or it would disconnect or whatever it hasn't failed on me yet i was 
with this in the studio yesterday, recording some guitar tracks for a Dutch soul singer. Um, and the producer asked me, can you do something like a space jet sound? I was like, okay, let's hook up Stratus. And I downloaded a couple of effects and he was like, what are you doing? Are you on Tinder? I'm like, no, I'm controlling the pedal. It's on my board right now. Um, and it worked and it sounded amazing. So to me, it's already become invaluable. Just this one tiny pedal packs so many tones. Um, yeah, it's, it's just crazy. So just let's just listen to some of these effects on their own so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. I'm just going to turn off um, the modulation stuff and let's listen to the drive pedal. Headphones! This is the clean tone. So this is just being fed into the amp. It sounds killer. Um, the delay. Here we go. The Mariner Space H delay.
insane. Um, close. And then the Artemis harmonic tremolo. As you all know, I love harmonic tremolo. stuff um let's go to re before i forget to mention there is a finite amount of cpu power whenever you open an algorithm let's say we open the night sky reverb we scroll down it says in the left bottom corner cpu 10 percent so whenever you engage it it uses 10% of the CPU power. Now an overdrive pedal will use a lot less power, but the ethereal expense echo we just used 36% of CPU power. So you'll have to wiggle a bit whenever you want to use a ton of effects, um, but I, I've yet to run into the limit <laughs> that's there. Um, but on the other hand, I don't use like 10 pedals all at once, so who knows, maybe you do, and then that may be a problem. But in most real world situations, that wouldn't be a problem. Night Sky Reverb sounds interesting. So whenever you want to get something, just click Get. And it says Installed. And sometimes it will show a percentage bar when it's installing. Right now it didn't. So it should be popping up. Let's change this, remove, yes. Um, add something there, reverb, the night sky reverb. Here we go, turn it on. Lumens, I like lumens. More lumens, more space, less tone. Here we go. Um, I'll turn off the delay and the tremolo. just so weird to be controlling your whole pedal board from your phone. Um, uh, modulation. Dynamics, there's dynamics as well, like 
clean gain stage, um, a compressor, fuzz pedals, fuzz pedals, distortion, overdrive, modulation. The luscious astral, I already have that. Let's add that to the signal chain here. Modulation together with the reverb. Mix it 50, sounds good. Yes. much reverb but I do not care I like reverb okay one more before we close this off um, the binary data repeater which is a delay um, sounds like this Stratus is a new product and therefore it's not ideal yet. But what I really, really, really want to emphasize is how well the team at Chaos Audio uh, made this product. They had an idea and they brought it to life and I really, really applaud them for that. And much like the Lexicon Reverb, I think this marks the beginning of a revolution in pedal manufacturing and the way we look at pedals. It's a signal processor and it's so insanely good. The store currently features a lot of effects. I don't know how much, but there are a lot and you can build a killer pedal board in a preset and get all your tones from there. Uh, and there will be added more soon. Uh, they recently updated Stratus to, um, uh, to have a looper, so you can do that as well. And um, the current effects are free, but given the fact that it's named a store, I think future effects might be paid. There might be free effects given out. And if you look at, um, let's go to, to the store real quick. If you look at an effect, it says right here, binary data repeater and under the name, it says by Chaos Audio. So I'm, I think Chaos Audio um, leaves the option open or is considering uh, to add third party effects, which will if that happens, it'll open up a world of possibilities. So um, for live use, for me personally, it would be uh, still a bit difficult to integrate Stratus on a pedal board. 
simply because it doesn't have MIDI and um, it's not very easy to switch presets with just a knob and a switch uh, which are feed if you don't have the option to attach it to a MIDI controller. So hardware wise I'm hoping for Chaos Audio to release a kind of deluxe Stratus um, in the future maybe with more foot switches it would need a bigger enclosure of course but this with MIDI would be insane but I do have to say with MIDI it would be a lot more costly right now this retails right now this retails at 278 euros which is nothing if you look at its competitors I think this how I use it yesterday in the studio um, it's similar to an H9. It's similar to whatever is out there that is a lot more expensive. And yes, those pedals do have MIDI. Um, but at this price point, there is nothing, nothing that can beat it. And uh, it's, it's, it's just, it, it, it blows my mind. Yeah. So yeah, I could talk for another couple of hours about this but i'm not gonna because this video is already taking way too long so i would love to hear your thoughts on this uh let me know down below in the comments and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to my channel it would help me a lot and if you really like what i do uh, there's a link down in the description to buy me a coffee which helps this channel grow and um yeah i hope to see you next time bye